It is Winey Wednesday, and today we're welcoming in Paula Testrake from Sparkling Ponds Winery. Uh, one of the more fun uh, wineries because they're, the names of their wines are always really, really great. We're going to get to that in a minute, but you're busy right now. It's harvest time, right? It is harvest time. Right now we're working on harvesting our Niagara grapes, mm -hmm. and we will use those to make our Niagara wine, which is na named Naughty and Nice, and also our Woman Pleaser. See, I told you, they've got great names for <laughs> wines. How long uh, is the harvesting season usually? Um, it usually starts mid-September and goes to mid-October. It all depends on which grapes you have. Mm -hmm. um, the Niagara's will be picked first, Catawba's will be hand-picked, and then your Concord's will go the next. And of course, there's other vineyards out there that have other yeah. grapes. But and that's the, weather's, what we have. the weather's been cooperating, so everything is going smoothly? The weather has been really good. Mm -hmm. um, there have been a couple dry spells, but um, I think overall it was really well. Yeah. You have a gift shop. You have some fun things. Like, I love this one wine bottle holder that you have here to show us. <laughs> yes. We love our sparkling shoe, and everybody seems to love our sparkling shoe. We do have color change cups, gift bags. Um, T-shirts, earrings, uh, cork earrings made out of the old corks. Oh, nice. So. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, everybody loves a good slushie. Yes. Talk about your slushies and their flavors. Um, we make our own slushy mix, mm -hmm. and we package that for everybody to take home. But our slushies, we use a lot of fresh fruit in. So we'll go to the local farmers, and we'll pulverize that, and then we'll add it to our, our slushies. Like right now, I think we have pineapple orange. Um, Blue raspberry and watermelon margarita, I think, is what what's on tap right now. It all sounds really, really good. Yeah. Okay, and how about, of course, your wines? You've got award-winning wines to boast about as well. We sure do. We did two silver um, winners, our Fatal Attraction and our Man Teaser won silver awards this summer in the Finley Lake, in the Finger Lakes, mm -hmm. and um, our Woman Pleaser was a 2020 uh, award winner also. Are so. they dry reds? What are they? The fatal attraction is a semi-dry. It's like a, you know, one and a half percent residual sugar. We serve it chilled. We call it our um, our killer chiller. Mm -hmm. And our man teaser is a Concord with uh, cranberry juice, and that is about a four percent residual sugar. So it's sweet but very tart. Okay. So now your wine titles they ha they follow a theme. I'm picking up on a theme here. Talk a little bit about that and how you come to that uh, creative decision. Well, it it came about as a relationship issue, I mm -hmm. guess, and like Fatal Attraction is served in a blood red bottle, hence the movie from Fatal Attraction. Yes. We have Man Teaser, we have Sugar Daddy, we have Naughty and Nice, <laughs> we have, um, you know, Make Her Blush, there's uh -huh. just a lot of different names out there. That's terrific. That's so really cool. do they? Do you come up with these? Do you have a team of women that sit down and put their heads together, or who, who decides this? Well, actually, the owner's daughter came up with a lot of these names, uh -huh. and Jen was really good with picking out different names, so it was really always, always kind of fun. That's so, great. So here what comes about. What is your best seller? Our best seller is our Woman Pleaser. Okay. It is our Niagara with cranberry. It is uh, slightly sweet, slightly tart, and it is the best um, one that you can sit out and have a glass of wine out by the pool Love or in it. the backyard. Paula, thanks for joining us today. Yep. Be sure to head out to Sparkling Ponds um, and check out some of their great wines that they have, their award-winning wines as well. Thanks, Paula. Thank you. Yeah.